you have spoken about dramatic sexual experiences that you've had in your life any women have been able to connect to you because of how open you decided to be especially in your documentary it was incredible one of the things that I think was public was when you were 19 and you had filmed a sex tape with your current partner at the time a few years later he decided to leak it without your permission the concept of like revenge porn is so huge nowadays of women struggling to like have any autonomy over their body can you take me back to the moment when you found out that video had been leaked like where were you who were you with how did you find out that was one of the most painful experiences of my life. I was with my sister Nikki and we were in Australia and I got a call from someone on my team who told me that one of the entertainment shows received a 30 second clip and I did not believe it. I was like, what? I'm like, that has to be fake. Like, there's no way. Cause I didn't even remember making it. And they sent it to me and I just like felt like my whole world was ending. Like I was crying, I didn't know what to do. I didn't even want to fly back home to LA because I knew as soon as I landed, there would be so many paparazzi and reporters waiting. I kept changing my flight and just staying in Australia with my sister. I didn't know what to do. They wanted me to go back to LA because The Simple Life was about to come out. I was supposed to go on a press tour for that. I was like, there's no way I'm doing that. I canceled everything. And then just going back home, I just didn't want to leave my house. I was so depressed. I was so humiliated. I felt like I had, had let down my family, my little brothers, my sister. I put so much shame on myself. Now being an adult and looking back, I just realized that shame should not have been on me. I was a teenage girl, someone who I loved and was with in a relationship and who I trusted. This was pre-internet, pre-social media. He promised me no one would ever see it. And it was just one of the most traumatic things I've ever experienced and looking back now today that would all be illegal and people were so vicious and so mean and just the whole world watching it laughing about it every late night host just talking about it making jokes and it's something that will haunt me for the rest of my life just one night with someone who I loved and trusted thank you for sharing that because I I'm curious like in the moment because I I what's so frustrating about sex tapes is like what you're doing is what everyone does Mm -hmm. you're having sex you decide to film it but can you take me to like were how did you feel about it when it was being filmed like were you you were aware but you were like were you okay with it we had been together a while and he was pressuring me and be like oh let's do a tape and I was like no I don't want to and then he was like okay fine if you won't do it I'll just call someone else and kind of like threatened me in a way like okay if you won't do it then someone else is going to come here and do it and I was just so dumb and so like young and naive that I gave into it because I was scared that he would have someone else come over but now looking back if I someone would say that to me now I'd be like fuck you like I never want to fucking look at you again so it just makes me I don't know sad for myself that I let someone manipulate me like that and now for the rest of my life people are going to judge me on that and assume that I'm like a slut Mm -hmm. because of one night with someone. That's what's really fucked up. And I feel like I've, every time any woman is like exploited in media, I feel like it takes so many years for people to have the conversation about like the slut shaming that you endured. Like, can you talk a little bit about like how you handled like everyone you, I remember you wrote in your book, I wrote it down. The world thinks of me as a sex symbol and I'm here for that because symbol literally means icon. But when people saw that sex tape, they didn't say icon, they said slut and they said whore. When you look back and now even having like a daughter on like yourself, like how do you think that should have been handled like by media instead of just slut shaming you? I think that they should have looked at it in a way like this is a teenage girl. We shouldn't even be talking about this. Like this Mm -hmm. person should be in jail. Mm -hmm. And the fact that people were just so mean and like thinking it's funny, like it was disgusting just to have to see just what... I don't know, just misogynistic people, people just being so judgmental and I don't know, everyone vilifying me Mm -hmm. and then celebrating him. Mm -hmm. And then for people to think that I was in on it as well. That was the the part that pissed me off the most. 
mm-hmm. where people thought that I was involved in this because that was the last thing that I would ever want in my life. Like I always looked up to all these amazing women and I felt like when he did that to me, he took all that away from me mm-hmm. and I could have never been the person who I wanted to be. Yeah. I feel like something about being this like, yeah, sex symbol, this like hot woman that everyone looked at in not even just America, the world. Like, I'm curious, like how you felt about yourself and your sexuality behind the scenes while everyone else was like watching your sex tape, talking about your body, your looks. Like, how did you feel? It just made me scared about anything that had to do with sex. Mm -hmm. Like after that, I was so closed off. I didn't want to hook up with anyone because I was just nervous. Like I would date people, but I would only kiss them because I would just be nervous to do anything else. And then the whole world is assuming, oh, she's like the sex symbol. But deep down inside, like I didn't even want to let anyone do anything to me. But everyone, because of that tape, assumed that I was like doing that every night with people. That's something that I, I remember I struggled at the beginning of my show was like, I remember I went through like a really weird period with sex because I felt like I like was speaking about it so openly that then when I met guys, they thought like, oh, she must be like doing some crazy shit in the bedroom. And it's like, sure, if if I love you and we're like having a great intimate bond, but like it, there was almost like a pressure I started to feel like I was putting on myself. And I'm curious, like moving forward, did you ever like feel pressure to live up to this like hyper sexualization that people kind of like saw you as like a couple years let's say after the sex tape like reclaiming your own sexuality like how did you handle connecting with a man it took me a while just like people even gave me the nickname of miss blue baller and that's what people would call me because I wouldn't do anything but then in the public people assume something else and then I kind of just I don't know played into the character and like doing the Carl's Jr. commercial, doing all these really sexy shoots. So kind of like exuding and like showing this kind of sex symbol vibe. But deep inside, I didn't feel that way at all. 